I'm Leslie Widener. Welcome to my digital classroom. I teach um, eighth grade comprehensive science at Berkeley Accelerated Middle School in Arbondale, Florida. I'm currently a distance teacher and have been teaching overall for about 27 years. In March, when we went to distance learning, we were not prepared. We left on a Friday thinking we were gonna come back on a Monday. And then of course we're told, no, schools are closed. Our biggest problem was actually getting the students to log on, getting the students to be there. The problem was that teachers weren't trained in how to deliver effective and engaging virtual lessons. We knew starting this school year that things were going to be different and that we were going to have to rely one way or another on virtual lessons and virtual education. Since we knew this, um, our principal got us as a staff training in a Zoom training with conscious learning for the digital classroom. So what I have ended up seeing is teachers becoming better educators in a digital classroom than they were in the regular classroom, really reaching out to engage and connect with their students. One of the things that we did as an eighth grade is we've always said we need to have games, we need to have competitions, um, we have joke telling contests, we do dances, we do scavenger hunts where the first one back on camera with this list of crazy stuff that we said is the winner. I've been surprised over how much I enjoy being the instructor in a digital classroom. I would actually like to continue as a teacher in a digital classroom. I think it's very powerful and I think you can do so much good. If a student has a laptop and a Wi-Fi connection, literally they have access to the best practices, the best teachers, the best lessons. Maybe when COVID is over, they wouldn't actually be in their home, but could be part of a digital classroom in a community center. I think that the digital classroom can be what actually equalizes America's public education system.